and the Creative Business Cup, a global competition graced by a lineup of 70 plus creative supernovas, brilliant keynote speakers, jurors, and investors, all converged as one community to develop its entire focus in expediting innovations and creative business endeavors, is set to feature in Accra as it puts a spotlight on new entrepreneurial businesses in the creative industries to motivate, hone and develop the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. Participants have the opportunity to win a variety of prizes and a ticket to the world finale in Copenhagen to help them build their ideas and concepts into sustainable businesses. The Creative Business Cup Ghana is a competition for entrepreneurs from the creative industries, so from music, movies, fashion, gaming, etc., crafts that have an entrepreneurial ambition, that want to go somewhere and get somewhere, that want to have access to finance. So they enter into the Creative Business Cup Ghana. And then when they win, the price that they win is a trip to Copenhagen for the global finals, where we meet from 80 countries, where we have, you know, the Creative Business Cup China, Creative Business Cup uh, uh, from uh, Denmark and from Sweden, from everywhere to come. Most creative people have a problem with, first of all, internationalization. Usually they're born international. If you're a fashion designer from, from Ghana, why only sell in Ghana? You could sell in anywhere in the world if your brand and your, what you do is appeals to a global market. So internationalization. And the other one is access to finance. Uh, because your ideas is, are, up in, are in your head and you're, you, are, you have a creative idea. Uh, you have to trust that this person have good creative ideas that also are commercially viable. And that's the big challenge with the creative industries and the creative business is this, that it's uh, uh, intangible. It's not like producing milk or producing cars. It's usually uh, producing games or stories or, or other things that are more, uh, yeah, intangible and more difficult to invest in. The tournament is hinged on the bank's sponsorship of Liverpool FC. Ghana Limited has emerged